As any F1 fan knows, speed is everything in this sport. But with that speed comes a need for stability and control, as cars must stay firmly planted on the track in order to reach their full potential. This is where downforce comes into play. Downforce is the aerodynamic force that pushes a car downward, creating extra grip and allowing it to corner at high speeds. It's a crucial element of F1 car design, as it helps to keep the car stable and prevent it from taking off at high speeds. But how do F1 cars generate this downward force? Buckle up and get ready for a thrilling ride as we uncover the secrets of downforce in the fast-paced world of Formula 1. Downforce is a measure of how much vertical aerodynamic load is created by a Formula 1 car's aerodynamic surfaces. At high speed, the downforce created by airflow around the body of an F1 car will be far in excess of its weight. Theoretically, this would allow it to drive along the ceiling of a tunnel. The wings of an airplane help it to take off in the air at a specific speed. The same wing, if installed inverted on a car, can make the car stay firmly on the ground. Just like in an airplane, as the speed of the car increases, the wings will press the car more firmly on the ground. This force that presses the car up to the ground is called downforce. Aerodynamic downforce plays an important role in the performance of Formula 1 cars, DTM, Indy cars, and touring cars. Good grip on the racing track is equally important as the power generated by a racing car engine. Good ground adhesion gives the car stability and better cornering ability. Hence, a racing car must generate a ground force equal to 7 times its weight. Modern Formula 1 cars can generate as much as 5 Gs of downforce. That means at full speed, the effective weight pressing down on the track will be 5 times the weight of the car. Almost all the surfaces of the Formula 1 car are engineered to produce downforce. The downforce by the front portion of the car has to be balanced by the downforce produced by the rear portion. While the downforce on either side of the car can be balanced by symmetry, the downforce between the front and the rear cannot. This downforce has to be balanced by design. Most of the downforce in Formula 1 cars is produced by the wings and by diffusers. The downforce required by the car for ultimate performance will vary from track to track and the conditions of the track. While the front wings produce 25% of the downforce, the rest of the body contributes to 5-10%. to the underbody of the car and the diffusers produce the maximum amount of downforce at 45%. The rear of the car and the rear wings contribute to the balance of 25% of downforce. Splitters, also called dams, are used to reduce the gap between the ground and the car. This ensures that very little air passes beneath the car, reducing the lift induced. Most of the air directed towards the side of the car and the rest towards the underbody. Side skirts primarily reduce the amount of high pressure on the sides of the car. This prevents the air from going under the car from the sides. If the air from the sides goes under the car, it will diminish the ground effect and the downforce created. The edge of the side skirts should be less than 2 centimeters from the ground. If the gap is too large, the effectiveness of the side skirts reduces dramatically. The rear spoiler on an F1 car creates turbulence just before the flow of the air. This turbulence causes the airflow to move more slowly which causes a low pressure just in front of the spoiler plate. If a rear spoiler is correctly designed, it will not only eliminate the lift generated by the airflow but will contribute with downforce of its own. Romain Grosjean claims that he experienced a downforce of 8 Gs at Suzuka in 2018. That means that 738 kilograms of car weighed approximately more than 5,904 kilograms at that time. Downforce is a function of speed. The faster a car travels, the higher is the downforce generated. Generally, Formula 1 cars produce a downforce of 5 Gs. As F1 fans, we know that the sport is all about pushing the limits of speed and performance. With that comes the need for stability and control, which is where downforce comes in. It's amazing just to see how much engineering and strategy goes into creating this aerodynamic force and how it plays such a crucial role in keeping the cars firmly planted on the track. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and fellow F1 fans. If you want to stay up to date with all of our latest content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.